Hello everyone, it's Two Foot Game again. It's been a long time since I played the game Boxhead, Zombie Must Die, but I'm still playing and updating more features. But you know, in Vietnam we have Tet. Tet or Lunar New Year is something very terrible. It will make you fatter and lazier, and I'm also lazy to edit videos. This entire video was made by me before Lunar New Year, and this will be Tofu OK's journey to discover the game. Let's begin. Let's talking about the event. The Tet event will require you to collect items on your journey to kill zombies, and you will combine them to create larger puzzle pieces that can be redeemed in the store. Quite similar to the previous Christmas event. Previously, I made a clip in map episode 2 of this game. The game has not updated any new map sets since this winter map was released. However, the map of episode 2 still has many things worth exploring. In this battle, I will use a shotgun. This is my first legendary long-range weapon. This thing is like the heavyweight champion of zombie obliteration. The sheer power it packs is enough to make you feel like a one-person apocalypse. Now, the shotgun is all about power. When you pull that trigger, you're not just shooting zombies, you're sending them to the next dimension. The damage output is off the charts. It's like the developers cranked up the oomph factor just for the sheer joy of watching zombies disintegrate. It's a symbol of a zombie game. Imagine this, you've got a swarm of zombies closing in, and that's when you hold down that trigger button. That's the sweet spot. You release this hailstorm of destruction, a cluster bullet extravaganza that turns the undead into minced meat. It's like unleashing pure chaos in a can. Boom! Bye bye, zombies. When you pull that trigger, you're not just shooting zombies, you're sending them to the next dimension. The damage output is off the charts. It's like the developers cranked up the oomph factor just for the sheer joy of watching zombies disintegrate. But, and there's always a but, right? The range isn't exactly sniper level. You can't be popping heads from a mile away with this bad boy. No, sir. You've got to get up close and personal. It's like, hey zombies, meet my shotgun in your face. So, it's a bit of a risk-reward situation. You want that raw power? You gotta earn it by getting dangerously close. So, when you're out there battling the zombie horde, it's all about mastering the art of decision making go big for that powerhouse shot or play it smart with the scattered approach. The shotgun adds this layer of strategy to the chaos, making every encounter a thrilling dance between destruction and precision. <laughs>
Oh, those rats in Boxhead, Zombie Must Die are a real thing, especially those walking bombs. It's like dealing with a ticking time bomb every time they scurry towards you. You blast them, and boom! They explode into pieces, turning the whole area into a zombie minefield. Talk about adding an extra layer of chaos to the game. But here's the thing that can drive you nuts, those radioactive mice. They're like the glitchy gremlins of the game. You shoot them, and suddenly they're immortal. I mean, come on, that's just not fair. It's like they've got some secret zombie superpower that makes them immune to everything. Even the automatic shooting machines throw in the towel. Imagine, you're there, trying to survive the zombie onslaught, and then these radioactive mice show up, messing with the natural order of zombie elimination. Your trusty automatic shooters, those loyal companions, suddenly decide these mice are off limits. It's like they've gone on strike or something. Now, I'm not sure if the game devs have fixed this issue yet. The rats will become immortal, even the automatic shooting machines that follow our characters will no longer shoot at them.
The thing with jumping zombies is that they can close the distance between you and them in the blink of an eye. Regular zombies, you can kind of predict their shambling pace, but these jumpers? They defy the laws of undead physics. It's like a surprise attack every time they spring into action. But you know what they say, higher risk, higher reward. Taking down jumping zombies can be super satisfying. It's like a zombie whack-a-mole in the sky. So, keep that trigger finger ready, stay nimble on your feet, and show those jumping zombies that the ground is where they belong, not mid-air coming at you. Stay alive and keep the undead on their toes.
Hi, I'm Tofu Game. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Love you guys.